Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today we'll be continuing the work on the BMW 250. Um, since the last build, all I've done is painted the next steps that I explained I was going to do in the um, last video. I think it was about five steps we were going to do today. So, uh, let's get in the instructions out. Here we go. So, we were talking about doing five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to nine, I believe. So, as you can see here, this was a bit of a tricky part to paint. Um, it took a couple of days because obviously there's quite a few colours on there, so I had to dry between stages, and dry between um, coats and different colours. So that's the only reason why I said I'd try to do it uh Wednesday didn't I so well it's Wednesday so I have managed to do it sort of roughly in time a few other bits here and a few more bits so we're working on the interior today a couple of uh nice decals here and I used uh, Tamiya's uh decal um uh mark for it, I think it's called and as you can see it's um, shrunk down nicely onto that, let it dry overnight and that's what it's done, so happy with that. Now, so with work today, what we've first got to do is go into the engine bay which is behind the seat um, and first step is to glue this bit on So, does that go like that? Gee, yes, it does. Just got to push it down nicely. There we go. Make sure it's a nice, tight finish. About as tight as it's going to go, I think. There's a little space up there, but I don't think I can get rid of that. And now we want to go on the other side and glue down the seat onto these big round supports. So, okay, that's useful bit of information. Leak straight at the bottom. Give me a second. I just need to wipe off the excess from underneath. There we go. But other than that, that looks about right. So there's a little seat. I'm just going to quickly put a bit of glue down in here. Just letting it run down behind this section here. That's why I'm holding it to the side. There we go. Now, so that's steps six, five and six done.
Right, num step seven is done as well. All it was, was gluing two halves here um, and then pushing this in, there's like a lip so it can twist but you don't want to glue that. So steps eight is the continuation of this bit here. And we want it to go this way round. Wiggle that in there like so. Just go from underneath. So that says done. Now we want the the lever that sits here. It doesn't help as well that I've got the major shakes today. There we go. Set up that. And now, da, 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 we want this little assembly here going this way around, and this wants to slide in here. Just quickly uh, popped it out because it wasn't going down the whole way. So I'm just gonna widen it a little bit. It's probably where there's paint there to be honest with you. I'm not gonna make it any deeper, just a little bit wider. Not by much either. Now we'll try refitting it. Probably, if that's still not going on, it's a thickness now. Just quickly take Andrea off a little bit.
There we go. Perfect. So, we have this little funky bit here. I think it's something to do with the steering wheel. Um, because I was informed that the steering wheel can be like unhinged um, for when you open the door. So that looks like some type of bracket there that obviously can swivel. So it's probably something to do with the steering. Not the steering, uh, well the steering wheel anyway. Um, so what's the next step? This next, that's that step done. That step's at, uh, up to eight now. So, got your pedals in there, your brake lever, and it tells me to, oh, the gearbox, the gears on the next step. Okay. Start to finish. Right. Okay. So, the next step is, I've got to quickly pop these out, because these here are, a bit of leftover silicon from when I was spraying up the floor, I did the white first, so I had to, that's the silicon out of the way. Right, so now we've got to do the, um, the interior pockets. So what I'm gonna do, these de decals, on the edge, just a little bit over the edge, so I'm making sure they sit downwards, so when I push it in, we don't lift them up. So that's that. Got to make sure it's, it wants to go down, there we go. Can hold that down there. I'll tell you what, though, um, this kit does go together really nicely. So, well done, Revel, for building this kit. It's actually a really nice kit. It's actually also a really nice um, scale to work in. Don't get me wrong, I like the 1 to 20 E4 scale, but I do like working in a slightly larger scale. So that's that one. I wish I wasn't <laughs> shaking as much. Uh. Right. There we go. Test this, fit it first. You can see that wants to sit down lower. So I'll put some glue first off down there, hold it in place. Oh, 
also if you notice I'm, I'm doing the glue all on the inside and not actually in the interior of the car but on this like section here because this section when you put the body on it'll be hidden so you won't see any of the glue marks you just see the interior which will be hopefully no glue really that visible so now we want to do like we did on the other side and just put a bit of glue there as well just hold it together And that's that assembly almost done. Just got to put the gears on the gear um, shift. Got to remove the paint. Should fit nicely now. Repeat should. There we go. So as always, go from the <laughs> go from the side you're not gonna see. in about five steps the interior done quite quite a nice little tidy interior but this is um, a very small car so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video also feel free to uh, look us up on Facebook we've got a group build going on now at the moment um, the group builds theme is um, scale, sorry not scale, uh, movies, so any uh, build you can think of from a movie, anywhere from the USS Enterprise to, I don't know, uh, Predator or Alien, don't matter, um, as long as it's featured in the movie. You're more than welcome to uh, join in the group build. Um, the group is called Scale Models and Figurines. And in the name, obviously, if you are a person who builds figurines like Warhammer or any other brand, you're more than welcome to join in um, and share your talents. Or if you're new to the hobby, 
Um, I do Warhammer myself, so I can give you some painting techniques and things like that. Um, and also, there's a lot of guys over there who build, and women as well, that build cars, tanks, aircraft, you name it, different weathering techniques. Um, so as I said, if you're new to the hobby, great bunch of uh, people over there, so come join us. Um, as I said, it's scale models and figurines. Have a great day, happy modelling, and I should be back uh, next step. So let's say tomorrow I'm at hospital again uh, in the morning. Hopefully only the morning, things go wrong most of the day. So generally I don't do any model on my clinic days. So probably Friday now I'll be painting the next step. So... Saturday, Saturday should be the next video, I'll try Friday but not making any promises, um, other than that have a great day, happy modelling and goodbye for now.